Right, time for some XCOM. Last time, yeah, did some stuff. You know. This time, more of the same. Kick some ass. Game loaded here. Yeah, the aliens made this base over here in Australia. Alien Base 3. Which, I'm actually gonna leave there for now. I may regret it later. I'm gonna leave it because I'm hoping to uh, catch some supply ships on the ground as they go to resupply it. You know, farm it for some loot first, then blow it up. But we got uh, like ten million dollars here, which is way too much. So we gotta start spending it. Which we're gonna spend it first on just a bunch of hangers. Spend a million dollars, just a million dollars of hangers, and we get an extra hanger at every base. So cheap. That's like five heavy plasmas. It's nothing. Why not? Oh, because we didn't build the other one yet. Okay. Cool, cool. So yeah, I got that base down there. That kind of sucks. I think I'm going to give up on Australia, though. Just because they don't send us that much money and it's a long way to go. Like, I'd have to build another base down there. If I wanted to defend just Australia. And I've already done that for Brazil. You know, we can't do it twice. <laughs> so. So long, Australia. You can go the way of the Brits. So all the British colonies, except for America. Not allowed. Got a UFO flying around. Shoot him down. Small one. Four hundred and sixteen meters. It's the range on those plasma cannons, apparently. Ooh, hyperwave decoders. All right. One point four mil a pop. Well worth. Absolutely worth. I'm gonna build one everywhere. Which we've researched next. Mm, I guess more of the live aliens, you know? They're telling us good stuff. Told us about hyperwave decoders. Learned how to do psychic shit. Let's keep interrogating them. Did we learn to do psychic shit yet? No, not yet. I don't think we've even seen other or ethereals yet. And that is a good thing. I don't want to see ethereals yet. Well, that's how you learn it. Is you, uh, that's how you learn to do psychic shit. So you interrogate a psychic alien. Uh, I can only really afford to build one more of these, so Brazil gets it. So then Kilimanjaro is going to be covered by Europe anyway. This has got a big range. Once those all build, we're gonna know everything that's going on on this planet. It's gonna be great. Until then, we gotta use our shitty human radars. And hope that we shoot them all down. Look at this guy, he's just taking off. Tom Cruise it. So long. Let the Japanese authorities take care of that. Yeah, you know, that one's on the house, guys. Free alien technology. Yeah, they're doing a lot of shit in Australia. More than anyone, any aliens have ever done before. Hmm. Maybe they built a base and they're doing something else? Not good. Silicoid autopsy. Oh. So when you interrogate the medics, you just get a random other autopsy. <laughs> That's cool. Take it. Uh, 
another hanger. You know what that means? It means we should probably make another firestorm. Can we afford it? Eh, pretty much. Do I want a firestorm there? I mean... Brazil. It would be supporting NORAD. It's the only one supporting NORAD, really. Maybe I'll send a firestorm there eventually. Speaking of... Let's make some hover tanks, finally. Hover tanks are pretty damn handy. I'll make two of them. They have a tendency to get blown up. But that's what they're for, is getting blown up instead of your dudes. At least outside of UFOs. Yeah, we got the Illyrium and time to spare to do it, so why not? And we got Medic told us about chrysalids. Ew. See their brains. Yeah, they're an effective terror weapon. They terrify the shit out of me. <laughs> so those things just get out of hand. Alright, let's interrogate a navigator again. The last one had some good shit to tell us. Alright, got a hover tank. Sky Ranger's a little cramped to put a hover tank on there, but... We're going to do it anyway. It is kind of cruel to get the rookies shot over and over and over again. Can let the machine take the bullets for once. Okay, now we'll take these people off. Yeah, those ones. We'll cycle them in as we take casualties and we'll put a... Have a tank on there, so we can take off some of the heavy plasmas and leave the extras. Nice. Alright, all goes well. It's June of 1999. <laughs> Been at this for six months, I think. I think you started in January. I didn't actually pay attention. This firestorm is still 18% damaged. Guys, we could have built a new one by now. What is wrong with you? Yeah, this one's a medium. I wasn't sure interceptors could shoot those down. Oh yeah, we've been using the Stingray missiles like candy. Let's buy more. They're practically free. We'll buy one rookie's worth of missiles. Huh? Oh no! Uh, we have debts. And... Australia has signed a secret pact with unknown alien forces and has withdrawn from the project. I knew it. Those dirty Australians can't be trusted. Got some new research. Ah, the alien research mission. Yeah, they go and they come and research shit sometimes. So I guess the navigators will tell us about the different kinds of missions then. We have a leader here. I think our next mission is to interrogate a leader. So, do so. 18 days until we get Hyperwave Decoder. We can crack the alien code and listen in on their communications. We are in dire need of money though. We have negative 1.8 million dollars. Thanks to Australia. And also having way more maintenance than we have budget for. But that's where selling stuff on the black market is a good thing, actually. You know, I don't care who's getting these blaster bombs, as long as they pay me $17,000 for them, you know? What could go wrong? 
Sell off some heavy plasmas. We don't need those anymore. It's just regular human technologies. Need those. Okay. You can also manufacture tanks and sell them for infinite money. You sell them for more than you manufacture them. But you need the Alarium for it, I guess, which makes it wasteful. I think somewhere in here it tells us what our maintenance is. Our maintenance is ten million dollars. I guess these guys aren't giving us even ten million dollars. <laughs> For our monthly budget. It's ten million a month, you know, so it adds up to almost <laughs> Almost a tenth of a billion a year. Shoot down this asshole. Just defending the earth here, guys. Ah, we've learned the Martian solution from that leader. I mean, I guess we should research that, right? What is the Martian solution? Tell me, guys. They already know, they just want me to, like, ask them to tell me. They want to feel involved. Very small. Shoot you down. Let me get closer. There you go. Firestorm, still repairing. Another weather balloon. <laughs> ah, a large one. Perhaps this is one of the supply ships I'm looking for. It's going in the wrong direction if it is. No, it's coming in on an attack run. Let's send the firestorm after it. Whew. Yeah, was a terror ship. There's a terror attack diverted. Fuck you, aliens. Suck my dick. We are pretty hard up for cash. We might actually want to do one of these missions. You know, as well. I think this is going to be a taiga map. Which, those maps are fun. You know, it's not going to have all the houses and shit on it. They're just going to be scattered throughout the forest. And we are super hard up for money, so we should really do this. <laughs> Get some more alien technology to sell to the highest bidder. No regard for who it is. Are you North Koreans? Yeah, here, $17,000 each. Come on. Ooh. Cyber discs right outside the UFO, or the Sky Ranger again. Not ideal. Alright, well, the tank is here to take shots, so take shots. Uh, maybe not that much shots. Ouch. It had 100 hit points, I think. It's down to 14. Oh shit, there's two of them here. Oh man, so many aliens. Just chilling in the forest. Look at all this biomass. Have you ever seen such a thing, Ikluknak? Nope. Colonel Evelyn's got the blaster launcher. Kind of keep her alive. Be good. Also a potent weapon, so let's get her shooting. 
Shot back. Is anybody hit? No. Oh, come on. What do you mean you can't shoot from there? Oh, God. Alright, whoever shoots this thing is probably going to die. <laughs> when it blows up. So, rookie do it. There's an alien guy, get him! <laughs> that almost killed me, guys! They're all slapping their asses off. What I'd like to imagine. Right? <laughs> Shoot this guy too. Pow, pew, boom. You don't need auto shot. Alright, let's get the rest of these assholes off of the boat. Everybody off the boat into the woods. A lot of captains. To be expected, though, we have a lot of troops across the world. We're just a private military contractor, right? Doing a special military operation against the aliens. Jones here has a pretty decent aiming skill, so maybe we don't treat him like a rookie. He's worthy of putting a 64 in his name. We'll still treat him mostly like a rookie. We still need to bum rush the UFO and make sure they don't get out. Away! in here. It's an absolute unit. So many time units. And a good aiming skill. And hover tank plasma. Which is an absolutely great thing to have. 100 time units. Scout everywhere. It can usually take one shot, maybe. Sometimes. <laughs> this time it did. Two shots, you're pushing your luck. Almost no chance in hell. Alright, nobody over here. Alright, we can send the hover tank first. That's its job. Ah, And... First hover tank, first mission we take it on. Shoot him right the fuck out of the air. These assholes. Where is he? Can you shoot him? Nah. Alright, you live for now. He just peeks around the corner, just stares him right in the eyes. Goes back. <laughs> You're next. In fact, can Colonel Evelyn... No, this is a terrible place to launch a blaster launcher shot. Let's move her somewhere else. Okay. More advantageous position. Alright, keep everybody running, running around the UFO. are going to come in this wing. These guys are going to go in the other wing. We'll meet in the middle. Right, alien turn. Uh-oh. Colonel Evelyn panicked. Dropped her weapons. 
That can't be. Does that mean that Colonel Evelyn has a weak mind? That is a devastating tragedy. That is just guaranteed death right there. We may put her down if she has a weak mind. For our own safety. We'll see though, you know, maybe it's just luck. They just randomly targeted her. And it wasn't that they always target the ones with the weakest mind. With their mind attacks. Kind of brings new urgency to getting the fuck in there, so. Let's get our forces concentrated here. Colonel Evelyn. Panicked and dropped her weapon from a mind attack. Alright, well, time to redeem yourself, Colonel Evelyn. Plus 48 time units to shoot. You've got this. Right, where's the trees? Be careful doing this. Liable to blow ourselves up too. Right, there's a tree in the way. Let's just go over it. Avoid it entirely. And then we'll go back down where we want. We'll blow a hole right here. UFO. Launch. Oh. Set a lot of fires. Uh, not enough time units to reload. But poked a hole right in the UFO there. If only we had a hover tank to go peek through it. Oh, dang. Uh, sectoid. Cyber disc. Nothing for David Sharp, though, apparently. Maybe he'll live to not be a rookie anymore. I mean, he's a sergeant, but he's still a rookie. He knows it. So maybe he's trying to prove himself extra hard. But who knows? Maybe he's got a strong mind, and that's what's going to make all the difference. want soldiers with strong minds. If they got a good aiming skill, that's a good bonus. I don't see anybody else down here on the first floor. Yet. Boom, boom, boom. Let's get everyone inside, choking on smoke. And alien turn. Oh no, Colonel Evelyn panicked. I think, I think it means what we think it means. Colonel Evelyn has a weak mind. It's a damn shame. Yo, what? Did he? He did. Oh my god. We just shot a hole in the floor. <laughs> I didn't even think that was possible. Nope. Return <sighs> fire. It's like an action hero sector right here. Jesus. Just fell through the floor and blast one of our guys. Yeah, I guess the floor was weakened by the cyber disc exploding. And then when this guy missed and shot the floor, he must have broke it. How are we going to get out of the, the elevator room then? Disappointment every time I scroll to you. 
I shoot, you can go up there. Yeah, how do we get out of here if there's a hole in the floor there? I know, find out next turn. Okay, they didn't attack Colonel Evelyn. So here's the plan, right? We're gonna shoot a blaster launcher. We're gonna blast a hole in the wall. That's how we get out. Unless we can blast a hole in the wall here. I mean, it makes you think if the floor was breakable when it took enough damage, maybe. Maybe those walls are breakable too. You just need to shoot them. I'll try. Anybody who's already shot, I think. Just mostly everyone. It's gonna work. Should I even bring the rest of the guys up there? No. Oh my god, Colonel Evelyn. This whole plan relied on you. You've been demoted to rookie effective immediately. I hate to have to do it to you. But them's the brakes. Time. I guess we have a few turns to try out our heavy plasma idea. <laughs> We're just wasting all of our ammo. Alright, Captain Shigeru, you go over there and you pick up the blaster launcher. Let the rest of us out. I guess I can hang up here because it's out of the smoke. And here we go again. Alright, Rudy. It's out of breath. Oh man, this is like... <laughs> it's turning into like a slapstick Three Stooges that come mission. He's trying to break through the wall. Just keep dropping the blaster launcher and then get too tired to go. Can you imagine being the one alien that's left? Doing this mind control. Uh oh. And now Rudy Brem also has a weak mind. We'll just ignore that. Hopefully he'll get over it next turn and he doesn't just turn and shoot everyone. Yet another one we may have to just put down. He was already a rookie though. So he can't even get demoted. Alright, Rudy, you go pick this thing up. Carry it. Yeah, he can't launch it. Just carry it up the hill, okay? This is the worst. Captain Shigeru stand next to him when he drops it. Oh. Oof, close one. They're trying to have the guys all in close proximity shoot each other. Almost worked. Alright, now's our chance. Get that shot off. Go, go, go. Hopefully this should just kill all the guys that are in there. Guaranteed to blow up. Big boom. Blew another hole in the wall. David Sharp has a weak mind too, apparently. Blew a bunch of holes in the floor, but... No holes in the elevator wall. 
If only I had a hover tank plasma that could come peeking in through these holes. Uh, or uh, if only I had invested in flying suits for my troops by now. But you know what? Blaster launchers got me into this predicament. Blaster launchers are going to get me out. There's no more ammo for it. God, we gotta carry it all the way back to the Sky Ranger. God damn it. Alright, we'll, we'll be back when we get there. Alright, panting. Totally out of energy. Rudy has finally made it back to the Sky Ranger. Grab these blaster launcher shells. We're gonna solve this problem once and for all. Alright, so we can shoot from here. We can stay on the second floor. We'll just go over this wingling thing. Around, through. Just blast a hole right in the elevator wall. Which I got guys in there still. I should probably get them out before I do that. Might be a good idea. All right, through the door. Chinati Chikarin. To David Sharp with the weak mind. Gonna remember your name. It's a plasma rifle, we don't have to use it. Alright, let's get everyone clear. Now let's do the blaster launcher. Over. Wing a wing. Over to here. In through the hole. Make a new hole. I should just blow out the whole elevator. What the fuck? <laughs> Blew one hole. One more blaster launcher shot. Well, let's go up there and check it. We might be able to get through. Oh, yeah, these guys have time units. Well, the other ones should, right? Yeah. Shuji, go look. I don't see anyone. These guys are just keeping watch in case they run out. Alright, go look. <laughs> There's another hole in the floor. <laughs> right. Right in front of the hole. <laughs> we got one blaster launcher shot left. We really can't fuck this up. Instead of trying to blow holes in the wall, why don't we just use it to try to kill the alien? I think that might be a better idea. We got all the smoke out here from the burning trees and smoking, burning debris of the UFO. Look up through the holes, probably, at least. See if we can spot them. No, no sign. Oh, that floor is missing. Blaster launcher just blew it all up. Which, you know, that's what it does. And every time you go through, just fall right through. Let's get everyone evacuated. 
I'm gonna try it. The last blaster launcher shot. Is it gonna kill the last alien? Or are we just gonna have to get everyone on the Sky Ranger and abandon the mission? Because the alien won't come out. We shall see. Over the wing, through the hole. So he's definitely not in here, so he's probably in this back hallway somewhere, right? So why not we try both things? Oh, oh killed him. Ah, finally. One casualty, one tank destroyed. No hilarium. But a bunch of other stuff. We could sell off the alloys and all the equipment that we didn't blow up with a blaster launcher. Which probably isn't that much. Good thing we built two hover tanks though, right? Because now we got a spare. First mission. Can't believe it. Those things are usually way more durable. I also don't usually get shot that much. Let's sell off our stuff to the men in black, because we really need the money. Pretty bad. Don't need any of those. Sell off a few heavy plasmas. Here you go, Russia. Have some heavy plasmas. Don't care who you are, as long as you got one hundred seventy thousand dollars. Got another UFO. Let's go shoot it down. Pew. Easy peasy. Let's take a look at the graphs here. See if UFO activity's changed. Look like they're doing anything. No. No big spikes. Yet. Another medium. These things usually land. So I'm gonna send the Sky Ranger after it. Oh, there's one on the ground. Even closer. Alright, we'll send the Sky Ranger after that one. It's in the desert. Very nice. We'll shoot down the other one then. Yeah, small boy. There must be some alien abduction mission going on. Or something. Alien harvest. Getting food. This is a great time to go capture and shoot down UFOs. Alright, it'll be a little dark. While we're in the desert, but that's okay. We have a hover tank. All right, no blaster launcher this time. There's a guy right outside. There's more of them. Okay, there's nothing over there. Let's shoot back first. All right. These things have shots with 30 time units but they're decently accurate so it's not terrible to use them it is a lot though colonel evelyn has been demoted to rookie so you go out first He's got too weak of a mind it's a damn shame Yoko here. Maybe Captain Yoko will be the next badass. Maybe they'll have a, uh, a strong mind. We won't know until we uh, research psionics. But it's good to shake the bugs out now. Find out who the weak links are before we go start fighting ethereals that will mind control you and wipe out your whole squad by having your guy throw a grenade. 
It's real bad. But it's equally bad for them if we unlock that technology. Which is the plan. Alright, everybody off the boat. Including you, David Sharp. Let's go. Yeah, it's just gonna be aliens wandering the desert instead of in houses and shit. Which is kinda nice. These hills are a thing though. Yeah, there's a guy. No problem, we got. Colonel Shigeru. Good job. And, you know, Colonel Evelyn still has a good aiming skill, so for now, uh, she can't shoot. For now, she can be the sniper still. She's still gonna be first through the door whenever the opportunity arises, though. Scouting with the hover tank. That's its real strength, is you can scout super fast. It's super easy, because you can just fly over obstacles. Alright, looks like that's it. UFOs over there. Let's keep assaulting. Yeah, there's a guy. James Stewart. Do I want you to level up? Yes. <laughs> Forty-nine aiming skill will get the job done. Still, it seems the heavy plasma. So let's keep bum rushing. Send pretty much everyone that way. So we got the. Um, hover tank cover in the desert. We don't really need to spread out and search the whole map anymore. Just send that thing looking. They're nice to have. I like to have them. Ooh. Aliens wandering the desert. Where is he? There he is. Right, we'll just have the hover tank shoot him itself. Nice. Keep looking out the back. Looking good. Send Rudy Brain up here. Carefully. Looking for the guy. Well, we'll just have to hope that we shoot him. And he pops his head out. Find him. And Colonel Evelyn can catch up pretty well, too. It's a shame that we're going to have to let her go. Should have had a stronger mind. Enough on the draw there, Rudy. It's too bad. He's a sergeant rookie, though, so nothing to worry about. David Sharp, you go find that guy. Shoot. Or miss. Much better. Hey, right, let's get ready to bum rush this thing. Everybody huddle up around the door. Least important people first. All right, everybody's huddled up. Uh oh, they're already setting to work on our minds. Get them. Pew pew pew. 
Bust through the door. Shooting all the aliens. Action hero like. Alright, let's get everybody into the second room here. Looks like some kind of exam room. Like a slab for their victims to lay on while they get examined. Yeah, well, not much to do with the hover tank anymore. But it served its purpose, so that's fine. Hey, everybody inside. Maybe not everybody, in case they throw a grenade in there. Ah, David Sharp. The weak mind. That's why we left you outside, buddy. Alright, look this way. Hoop. Clear. Get back to your friends. This next corner is the dangerous one. I don't really want to send either of these guys. You know, Colonel Evelyn, this might be your chance. Uh, Gennady's not going to have enough time units. Yep, Colonel Evelyn, here you go. What a shame. Oh. Colonel Evelyn killed by aliens before she was able to be mind controlled and kill us all. It's terrible. I'll just make room for a new Colonel. Maybe we'll have Colonel Yoko. Be a good replacement. Similar number of time units. Similar aiming skill. Here, hover tank. Keep an eye on David Sharp out here. If he starts doing anything weird, shoot him. Oh, still okay. And right, we're kind of running out of expendable people. No, we're not. Alright, you. The elevator. Uh, we'll go up the elevator next turn. For now, we'll football huddle. Do they have enough time units to get everyone over there and shoot? So we'll just wait. Be patient. Hopefully, they don't mind control somebody here and have them auto shot all the dudes around them. Pretty bad. Oh, they tried. Shuji looks like has a strong mind though. He resisted. So he got mind attacked. He had no problem with it. And he's a badass at killing aliens. Maybe he'll be the next Colonel Evelyn. Alright, there's a dirty, filthy trick you can do with this UFO that we're going to do. To make sure that you guys don't get shot in the final room. At least, significantly decrease the chances. We'll send some of these guys around that way, some of these guys around this way. And David Sharp, disappointment. Everyone, final turn. Oh, there's a guy. Ooh. Hey, we lived. And we even shot back. There's Shuji again. Good job, Shuji. Alright, this hallway is clear. And before we go around that corner. 
do the dirty filthy trick. Which is you just blast through the wall here. Because you can. And then you shoot him here. Peekaboo! Ticket! Alright, Brett Jones. Take him out. He's just sitting there facing the door, waiting. Not anymore. <laughs> Two casualties, a hundred Illyrium. Hey, that's what you like to see. Yeah, Captain Yoko is the one that got promoted to Colonel. Nice. Can we send the Sky Ranger after another one? I think we have to go back to base first. Yeah, we gotta go back to base first. The interceptor will shoot this one down when it takes off. Here we go! nervous there. I don't think we're gonna do that UFO though, because when you shoot it down, there's a chance it won't have the Alarium, so that's fine. But I think this is a good place to leave off. We've done the cinematic journey of Colonel Evelyn. The fate was not, not a good one. Because, you know, shoot this thing down. We got a ton of small UFOs coming around, so... We'll pick up with all that next time in another episode of XCOM. So until then, peace.